We're just going to talk uh, six times faster than... Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. The clap's going to be in the in the recording this time. It, I mean, hey. I not? mean, sometimes I do it at the beginning. But, you know. dun, 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 nope. dun, 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 dun. nope, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> Not doing. Welcome back to uh, uh, Asshole the Am I. Yep. A- I the Am Asshole. I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, <laughs> the last time we did that, it became a. I, I sat here and rebooted. I was like, <laughs> words. Yeah, I just heard dial up noises coming from your ears for yes. some reason. Yep. Yes. That's, that's where I'm. Especially having my brain's been working today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, uh, let us know if you've uh, experienced dial up in the past. I want to know. I mean, we, that'll be like our 30 something year olds. But. Uh huh. And, and then and also. While you're telling us that in the comments, mm-hmm. hit that subscribe button because yep. like 92% of y'all who watch these, who enjoy them because we see you watching the whole thing, yep. or at least a majority of a those, chunk of it, yeah. you're not subscribed. No. So what, let's, what, what's wrong? Yeah. Just help click, us. Click the button help or us out. drop a comment. Let us know. I like that. What can we do better? But until yep. then, until we go mm-hmm. and read those, because this, <laughs> this comes on later. Yeah. Let's go ahead and jump in. Yes, sir. We are talking assholes, but yep. we're talking a specific kind of asshole. Sam. Yep. What kind of asshole are we talking about today? Big ones. Evil moms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Two different kind of websites. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Double the content. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Anyways. Subscribe on there, too. Yes, we were talking evil moms today. Yep. Uh... <laughs> I mean, all right. If you, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, hang on, this is left-handed. That's weird. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aha. Okay, you're, you're up first. Yep. All right, cool. Am I the asshole for telling my mom she violated my privacy for going through my suitcase? I-30 came to my hometown for a birthday party. On the night before I flew back, I went out with some friends. I came home to find my suitcase empty. I mildly panicked because my flight was early the next morning. I asked my mom what, uh, about it, and she said... Uh, she was washing the clothes. It was late, like close to midnight, and they were still drying. And she washed my cashmere sweater, which I only dry, which I only dry clean. I have accidentally done some stuff to a cashmere sweater before, and it came out about this big. <laughs> like <laughs> Yikes. Was, e. I was noticeably irritated. I kept asking where my stuff was and was getting anxious about not knowing if everything was accounted for. I felt bad after I calmed down. I told my mom that while a gesture was nice, I don't want her going through my things without asking. She started crying and told me to hang out with my dad since I never get mad at him. I feel like I ruined our last night together and I should have just kept my mouth shut. Am I the asshole? I mean, like you're 30 years old. Mom doesn't need to be going through your shit, you know? So, so here's one of the hard, (laughs) I just realized this because I'm the one who suggested this topic. Yep. I have a really shitty history with my mom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was kind of surprised you brought it up, but hey, whatever. You know? <laughs> I, and I didn't think about it at the moment, but yeah. I will say this. I have seen what positive uh, moms look like and mm. how they how they act. Um, I don't I don't think you're an asshole here. No. I mean, it's there's a reasonable degree of privacy, especially when you're an adult and have moved out or yeah. just visiting. Like, yes, it's nice that she but it would have been better if she had just been like Hey, you want me to do your laundry for you? You know, instead of just going and automatically grabbing the laundry. We live in the age of texting. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you could have easily texted and said, "Hey, you cool to do your laundry so yeah. that way you have it done before you leave." Mm. Like, n- no idea of time. Like uh, the toxic part that I hate that really got me was the uh, uh, "I'd never get mad at him" part. Like, yeah. dude, don't do that shit. No, that's so toxic. Yeah, because even though you did a good gesture in your own eyes, like mm. you, you did not ask when they were supposed to leave. You didn't ask if it was okay. What if they had something in there that was like, like, uh, uh, for instance, I don't want nobody touching my drawers. Yeah, N- no that's one fair. except yeah. for me. My own wife don't even wash my drawers. Mm. I wash the clothes. Yeah, I don't. I don't want that to happen. Mm. I, you know, like. What if, what if it was like a big old vibrator or a Moby Dick? What, what if know? someone had a sex toy in there? Like yeah. maybe they brought a bullet with them because, like, look, I might need to rub one out while I'm out here. Who yeah. knows? Like, mm-hmm. if that yeah, happens, you're an adult. Like, yeah. you have shit in your suitcase that no one should be touching. And that's a full violation of privacy because mom decided, oh, let me go wash the clothes. Yeah. No. No. You're not an asshole. That, no, I, I would, not an asshole. I wouldn't have even let off of it. I'd have been like, this is like, I, I'd have stated the case. This is bullshit. And if she said, go hang out with him because you never get mad at him, I'd have been like, all right, say less. I ain't yeah. coming back. Like, but that's just me with my short fuse. I mean, yeah. And it's, it's, 
that makes sense. But uh, to show what everybody else said, they said not the asshole. And then I'd like to point out this edit as well. Thanks for the feedback. Yes, she has done things like this before. So it's not just, so it sounds like she's got a history of it. Now that I reflect, I don't think that she ever gave me a healthy amount of privacy. I moved out when I was 17 and I don't see her a lot. So I just felt, I just felt really bad to make her cry, especially since doing a chore for someone could be seen as motherly. But I now see I was manipulated. Why does it seem that so many mothers from that, that generation are neurotic? So many of you in the comments have had similar experiences. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you this. And, and I had a, I have a very toxic history with my mother. My mother wouldn't just go through my stuff, like my clothes. She would just yeah. go through my stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like to see what I had. Yeah. That is horrible. I don't care if you live under the same roof. Like my kids will never experience no that at all like you eat look i'm gonna if i buy you something it's mm. yours once i give it to you yeah if i have any suspicions that you are doing something illegal in my house or or you're doing something you shouldn't be doing in my house then i'm going to come to you because you made an adult decision to do that yeah. or potentially do it i'm going to come to you and i would hope for honesty be like okay hey look like did what's going on here i'm not going to go through their stuff that is awful yeah that is rough. I I yeah. would never like. Yeah, and I mean clearly, you know, the the vote was with us there. And then just to read a couple of comments here, not the asshole. What your mother did was completely and utterly inappropriate. Period. Contrary to what others are saying, it is not a nice gesture. If she had wanted to make a nice gesture, it would have in fact been easier to for her to simply make the offer to do your laundry, like I said earlier, um, at any point during your visit. Instead, she waited until the last possible moment when you were out of the house to go through your things without your permission, intrusive, mass invasion of privacy, and completely irrational given that it sounds like you were mostly packed to leave already. Unpack your bags and wash everything without your consent uh, and without even checking about laundering instructions. But anyway, go on to say, basically, yes, she was. I like this here. It's the distinct lack of apology from mom. Oh yeah. no, I ruined your sweater and wash your clothes without enough time to dry. I'm so sorry, it was foolish of me. I won't do it again. Is mom who did it out of love, albeit foolishly. You absolutely love your dad more because you call out, call me out on when I screw up as mom who manipulates yeah. facts. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, this is the much shorter version of what I was trying to say. Thank you. I think there's a guy from him. No, maybe not. But yeah, it's. I mean, yeah, it's it, it, it's simply this. Like, this this is a I, I feel like a case closed, like open yeah. closed case of manipulation for sure. And any good person would have been like, oh, my bad. You know, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that. Like, I was yeah. just trying to give you a nice gesture. And then at that point, yeah, you might be a little bit of an asshole for being so angry. I get it, you know, in that sense. But mom didn't even apologize. It was, it was, oh, go, go be with your father because you never get mad at him. Like, yeah, what? Like, I have a reason to be mad right now. Don't know. Yeah, I'm just scrolling through just to see if there's any yes, the assholes, but I'm not seeing a single one. Two words, <laughs> luggage lock. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, but I don't see why you would have to need one if you actually if they respect you enough. No, you know? yeah, if you're in the place that you're expecting a reasonable degree of privacy and all that. But yep. Anyway, moving on, Joseph, you'd like to read this one? Second up, am I the asshole for not giving my mom a key to my girlfriend and I's place? This looks like a little bit of a longer one. Oh my god, two updates on this one. Okay, cool. Uh, throw away because my place of work is on my original account. Makes sense. Yep. Uh, they also deleted their account after this, so that makes sense completely. I, 25 male, have been dating my girlfriend, Lacey, 24 female, for six years. Wow, that's, that's a really healthy relationship. Good job. Mm -hmm. Especially at high school. We met when she was a freshman because she became friends with one of my close friends, and I was enamored uh, with her immediately after seeing her. After a couple of years of saving, we decided we wanted to take the next step and buy a house together. Nothing big, just like an apartment or a townhouse. With the help of Lacey's father, we purchased a townhouse a month ago. Nice. Yeah. Uh, now for some background. That led to my decision not to give my mom a key. Uh, my mother has never liked Lacey. There was and is always a complaint. Her dyed hair, her revealing clothes, her clothing style, her facial piercings, her tattoos, etc. Uh, this sounds like a... Hey, you sound like a fantastic lady. Mm -hmm. uh, the most recent complaint is that Lacey only works a few part-time hours while I work full-time. Lacey is, is a PhD in neuroscience student. Oof. <laughs> neuroscience <laughs> but even if she wasn't a student it's not her business how her dynamic works if she can't act amicably towards my other half who has been nothing but kind to her then i don't want her having access because i know she will intrude 
onto the issue two weeks ago. We had a housewarming party for our parents after we were mostly settled in. After dinner, we were all drinking coffee in the living room. My mom asked me when she would be getting an emergency key. I told her we gave it to our friends because they are uh, closest. That's a lie. We gave one to Lacey's parents. She got upset saying emergency keys are for family only and she needs one. I told her she didn't need one and if something happened, my friends had access. I could tell it upset her, but she stopped. The next day I got a call from her and when I answered, she was wailing saying she knew Lacey was up to this. I told her it was both of our decisions to give the key to our friends and that Lacey isn't an evil villain conspiring against her. She then switched up to anger saying I can't cover for her all the time to which I hung up. Ever since I've been getting uh, guilt trippy texts from my mother and my father about breaking her heart because I am shutting her out. Am I the asshole? Is it really that bad? She does not have a key. No. Wow. Jesus. I mean, going back to the other one, uh, manipulative, that's a hard word, manipulative mom much? I'm, ch- I'm changing this from evil moms to yeah. toxic moms, dude. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. oh my God. That's toxic as fuck. That is... <laughs> I don't think... I never gave my mom a key. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't I have think. chosen this topic. <laughs> nope. I am... I am... We're, you're watching. Triggered. <laughs> Joey's therapy right now. I am triggered <laughs> right now, dude. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I never gave my mom a key and I, we ne- hadn't, she didn't ask for one. But like, no. In no. fact, like, we didn't have spare keys, come to think of it. It was yeah. just a key for each of us and then that was it. Although now, like, we have digital door locks, so I could give access if I needed to, but yeah. I, Definitely not the asshole. I'm just going to say it right now. Yeah. No. Mom's a manipulative bitch. And, uh, yeah, she needs to chill the fuck out. Yeah. So, <laughs> this hits way too close to home. Yeah. When my wife and I first started dating, okay, uh-huh. mm. uh, I'll tell the living conditions here. I know you remember this because when you saw it, you were like, damn. Yeah. I was living in my mother's basement. I was between places at the time. Mm. I got into a shitty financial situation uh, and I had to build myself back up. So I was living in their basement. All of my stuff was in storage except for my TV and my Xbox and my clothes. I was sleeping on a broken futon. And what I mean by broken is it would the 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 padding was like that thick. Yeah. There was a plywood board to hold it flat. Otherwise, the thing would cave in. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Like, there was really no insulation down there. There was another, like, little love seat thing that I slept on when I came and visited. Uh, The the bathroom wasn't even put together fully. Mm -hmm. Like, the the door to outside was just a wooden door. So, if it got cold, it got cold down there. Um, But when my wife and I first started dating, my mother... Like, I'm talking, went into a full tizzy because she would come stay with me. You know, we're a couple months into our relationship. She knew my situation. She knew I was trying to find a place. But she wanted to come stay. You know, we'd cuddle up, watch Netflix and and chill and relax. And, and, you know, if she stayed the night, she stayed the night. Ain't no big deal. Yeah. I was paying rent to live in that shitty basement. Yeah. And I remember she actually said to me, like, your girlfriend's manipulating you and using you for your money. You should leave her. And I was like, why do you think that? And she goes, she's, she's just using you. She stays here to have a free place to stay, even though she was paying rent in a house that she was living at with her roommates. <laughs> like this <laughs> yeah, sounds out identical almost. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> like dude, run. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Block her? Yeah. Bl- tell, one last text. I'm not talking to you anymore. We're going to have a good life. Thanks anyway. Yeah. Send block. Leave it at that. Mm-hmm. Done. If she shows up at your door, end it there. Be like, look, I'll, I'll call the police. I'll yeah. call the police and call it a day. I don't give a shit. I know a lot of people out there probably like, wow, dude, you're being toxic about your mom. No. Fuck that. Yeah. Moms, unfortunately, there's a lot of moms out there who are toxic as fuck. Yeah. And people got to deal with that shit. No. No. No, 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 no. Also, for anybody wondering, my wife and I have now officially been together for, uh, it, as, as of January 1, we will have been together for seven years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. 
So get fucked. <laughs> Uh, let me read these edits real quick. Yeah. Edit and update. Well, I took the advice of the comments to text my mom, settling something along the lines of, no, you will not be getting a key, and that is my decision alone based on your treatment of Lacey though our entire through our entire relationship. I do not want you to make her feel unwelcome in a home that she also owns. Oh, yes! You and I both know that you will go snooping and show up uninvited, and I will not tolerate that. You need to let go of this competition between you and Lacey because I will always choose Lacey, but much longer. I'm getting chewed out, but the alternative is my girlfriend and I being walked all over, so... Update two. Yeah. I tried to talk to my dad about it since my mom is just on an angry rampage. No luck. My mother has escalated to calling and texting Lacey to insult her. So I'm just blocking them both for now. I sent my mom a final text letting her know I was disappointed that she couldn't consider anyone else's feelings but hers. And I decide, if I decided to reach out again, it would be on my time. And I wasn't hesitant to reblock if she spoke to Lacey like that again. That's a W, baby. Let's go. Oh, my God. That made me so happy just now. Oh, let's go. That is taking back your life. Yeah. That is mm. taking back your, your, oh, my, oh. Go you, dude. Good for OP. Yeah, yes, for OP. OP. Yeah. It's, it's unfortunate that it had to come to that, but I think in the but long that, run, they'll be a lot happier. I, For any parents out there, if you actually respect your kids, I applaud you. For the non-toxic parents out there who care about their kids, who and even when they become adults, like recognizing that they have a responsibility as an adult now mm -hmm. and that it's not your responsibility to parent, it's the leave and cleave. Yep. That is great. Good on you as parents. Fantastic. There are parents out there who are like that. But for the toxic parents like this, yo, kids, hey, I'm on your side. I respect this because sometimes that's exactly what it has to come to. Protect your peace if they won't respect it. Protect mm -hmm. your peace if they won't respect it. Yep. Yeah, I'm just scrolling through. There's somebody who's saying give her a fake key and see how long it takes for her to, to start complaining. Day about one. It. Yeah. Guaranteed. Because she would just try to show up and she, walk she, right in. She'd walk to the door and try it out and say, like, make sure yep. it works. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but everybody seems like not the asshole. Like, Leave the gun, take the cannoli. As always, yeah. the godfather has a Wait, what? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it, it's, it, I, I'm seeing a lot of these, like, talking about her her boundaries, not having any and things like that. Like, that is that is truthfully exactly how it works out. Yep. I hate to say it, but I have a direct connection to this. Like mm -hmm. I, I lived through something similar to this. Yeah. It does not get better unless you cut it off. No, yep. it ain't not a god of it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you need to <laughs> cut it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen a single. Yes. The asshole here. I was wondering if there was going to be a toxic mom that was like, no, you should listen to your mother. Blah, blah, blah. blah. I've never been that excited over an ass <laughs> no, asshole. That's, I'm, you're <laughs> genuinely excited on that I, one. I, I, like, I need y'all to understand. If you go back and watch any asshole episode we've ever produced, I have never once gotten that excited over someone's no. post. And I am so proud of them. Yeah. OP, I know this is a deleted account. I hope that you see this one day. I am so proud of you for making that decision yep. to cut it off. Like yeah. That's the only way to deal with toxicity mm -hmm. is to cut it out. Unfortunately, it's a, it, it, I, I hate to say it. It's a fucking tumor in your life. It's going to grow unless you, you get it out of there. So, yep. All right. Next one. Am I the asshole for swearing at my mom during a Mother's Day celebration after she excluded my wife? This is sounding pretty sim <laughs> kind of similar to the other one. Uh, growing up, I was close to my family. I'm the youngest of three kids and had a great upbringing. As of right now, my family isn't that close. My mom and dad have been distant for a while, and my mom stopped hosting holidays years ago. That part really sucks because I know she isn't obligated, but out of my wife, me, and the rest of my family, none of us are good cooks, and my mom used to do amazing holidays. Interesting. My parents travel a lot, spend a lot of time with friends, and just don't seem interested in us or their grandkids from my, uh, yeah, from my oldest brother. Uh, we get together maybe once every two to three months. I saw my mom for Mother's Day the other day, and it came up that we rarely get together and that my parents don't want to do holidays anymore. They do it with their friends. My mom said that, honestly, now that her kids are married and bring their spouses, she doesn't have much interest in, ho interest in hosting. I said that was a little selfish, and she said that she doesn't have much fun when we all get together. Interesting. I asked her point blank if she had a problem with my wife. My mom said not particularly, but I chose her. She didn't, and she doesn't. Uh, enjoy spending time with people she doesn't feel fully comfortable with might have jumped the shark a bit and I called her an evil bitch and said I can't forgive her for wanting to exclude my wife my mom was just like whatever but my father was furious and they left Ooh, hang on okay I asked her point blank if she had a problem with my wife my mom said not particularly but I chose her 
she didn't. And she didn't. She doesn't enjoy spending time with people she doesn't feel fully comfortable with. I might have jumped the shark a bit, but I called her an evil bitch. Ooh. I think that's where he fucked up right there. Because she was being totally honest. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching this so far. We greatly appreciate you hanging out with us. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube or listening on any listening sites. Make sure to go follow us on there as well. And also, if you're watching the video, drop us a like and share it to your friends who might want some lousy advice as well. If you have any, any at all lousy advice that you want from us or any lousy ideas that you'd like us to cover, drop it in the actual comments down below or send it to us at thelousypodcast at gmail.com. You can also email us there anytime with any ideas you have. Back to the show. If you hadn't, okay. Yeah, if he hadn't said an evil bitch, then I would have been like, eh, maybe. We were just just talking about this. Yeah. The leave and cleave, right? Mm. My mom said that honestly, now that her kids are married and bring their spouses, she doesn't have much interest in hosting. I said that was a little selfish, and she said she doesn't have much fun when we are all together, all get together. Prior to that, talking about how she had gotten distant, how her, her, uh, how mom and dad go like traveling and whatnot, right? Mm hmm. Kids are gone. Kids moved out. Kids have married. Kids have kids. Mom and dad decided to go live their life. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No. Mm -mm. You're upset because mom's not acting like you want her to at the holidays. Yeah. You're not taking into account how she feels. This is not a toxic mom at all. Mm -mm. This is a mom who was like, all right, well, hey, look, I raised your asses. Y'all left. You do and you think. Now me and him are gonna do our thing. Have fun. Yeah. See you at the holidays. But it sounds like they barely even get together for the holidays. But at this, also at the same time, like it is not the parents' responsibility to get and get everybody together. No. If anything, like in a fair world, everybody alternates. You know, that's kind of like what we do. Like you know, we, we yeah we alternate Thanksgiving and Christmas every year. Yep. Um, and so like you know, we'll host it one year, they'll host it the next, and vice versa. Yep. And. And then we invite like the in-laws sometimes and like the, we always go up to theirs. They always want to host Christmas Eve because that's yeah, like their tradition. Well, yeah. that, that, that's one thing I've noticed like since we moved here, it's like uh, you or I get Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. Christmas Eve there, Christmas, you were there like yeah. here at one of our two spots yeah. every year. And that's, that's just how we do it. And yeah. even then all those holidays, like when my neighborhood we're you know, we're close to everybody around here. And so yeah. everyone ends up getting together and like having fun or whatever. Yeah. Like it's cool. I mean, I, I kind of don't blame the dad for getting mad and leaving. I mean, I, like everything was chill until you called her an evil bitch. Yeah, like, that's not being an evil bitch. That's just saying, like, you no, I'm not the biggest fan of your wife. You know, like yeah, like that's there's nothing wrong with that. She didn't say leave her. She didn't yeah. say fuck that bitch. Like it was like I just don't like your wife. Like yeah. she's just like. It, it, don't particularly get along. I'd love to know, know why she doesn't like her wife, like his wife. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, if he's like that, then I wonder what the wife's true, like. You know? <laughs> so. True, true, true. Yeah, no, uh, OP, I, I, yeah. you, you were, n no one was an asshole until you said you're an evil bitch. Yeah. Like, there's now, a difference between swearing at and swearing at. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, they're saying fuck and then calling somebody an evil bitch. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like, you called your own mother an evil bitch for something that honestly is not that big a deal. Yeah. Like, sure, it sucks, but welcome to adulthood. There's you know? an, <laughs> like, well, and, and to, to, to reflect back between this story and the ones we've said so far, there's a difference between saying, yeah, I'm not a big fan of your wife and yeah. saying like, like manipulating them into trying to get them to leave their wife. Yeah. Like there's a massive difference. Huge your difference. mom, your mom just simply said like, I'm just not a fan of your wife. That's about yeah. it. Like. Okay. She didn't go, hey, you should leave her. You should leave her because she's a bitch. You should leave her because she's, she, she hates me. Like, nothing yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm going to say asshole on this yeah, one. I'm, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, and well, said, and so did everyone else. Yep, everybody else as well. Let's <clears> see <throat> the comments because this is, whoa, dude. You, like, escalated. <laughs> she, <was> just, <laughs> <laughs> she, was, uh, she just said she wasn't 100% comfortable. I mean, you are obviously upset about the holidays thing, but you just took it to such a crazy level. Maybe this whole, like, Looking for an excuse to call your mother a crazy bitch on Mother's Day is a part of why she doesn't feel comfortable around you or your spouse. True. <laughs> also, your mom is allowed to have friends. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe mom doesn't like hosting because it's work and you're all too lazy to bother your, uh, yourself. Yeah. That's, yeah. Sorry, I was just checking to see if they had still had an account, but they deleted it. So, 
which I don't blame him <laughs> for that. Uh, let's see. I wish my mom had friends. Same. Get her off my fucking. Actually, no. My mom has friends. They're all toxic. Yeah. It kind of seems like he really wants what he really wants is their cooking, since all that is mentioned. Uh, since that's all he mentioned missing, and of course he doesn't have a good time if she has to do all the work. My mom doesn't do the whole thing anymore either. We're all grown. We help. And even though she's not always been wild about everyone's spouses, we're all welcome. Escalating like that, it probably wasn't the first time. True. Yeah, and it wasn't like it wasn't like uh, like she said. Hang on, go back up real quick. Like all, uh, the, way. all the way up, all the way up. I want to see the original post. <clears throat> Uh, I was just saw my mother from Mother's Day the other day, and it came up that we really get together, and my parents don't want to do holidays anymore. They do it with their friends, moms. Honestly, now her kids are married and bring uh, and bring their spouse. She doesn't have much interest in hosting. I said that was a little selfish. She said she doesn't have much fun when we all get together. I asked her point blank if she had a problem with my wife. My, my mom said not particularly, but I chose her. She didn't, and she doesn't enjoy spending time with people she doesn't feel comfortable with. So her his mom didn't actually even say. Anything negative about her? No, nope, just said not particularly. You know, it's like dude's an asshole for sure. Like, like he asked, "Do you have a problem with my wife?" She said, "Not particularly." So your mom just told you, "No, I don't really have a problem with her." Why? She doesn't even. She, did, she doesn't even have a problem with the wife. Yeah. You were just had to be like, "You evil bitch." <laughs> you were asking for a fight. Nah, fuck yeah, this yeah, yeah. asshole. Fuck this. fuck this guy. Yep. All right. Okay, would I be the asshole if I don't pick up stepchild sister from school? Okay, I've been a stepmom too. Let's call them kid A and kid B for the past several years. Due to their dad's schedule and the 50-50 custody agreement, I've helped the pickups with pickups and drop-offs for the past few years. I do not have direct contact with their mom as she has harassed me, my siblings, my parents, and more to try to make me out to be the evil stepmom, other woman, uh, she has threatened me and constantly crap talks me to kids and my fiance. The kids go to school a half hour away in a rural town that my mom moved them out to when, or that mom moved them out to when she married her youngest dad. Okay, cool. Uh, with that background, I, will I be the asshole if I refuse to pick up kid A and kid B's mom's kid? So basically the step siblings to kid A and B. Okay. Their half sibling from school. The school offers an after school program that both kid A and kid B has been through that we, fiance and I, paid for. I decided long ago that when fiance and I have our own kids, I will be keeping them away from his ex as much as possible, as I do not view her as sa uh, a safe or stable person. The suggestion of me picking up all three kids has been tossed around by her and fiance, and I shut it down hard on our end. Why would I feel comfortable driving a child of a person who has harassed me and my family? Fiance thinks I am blowing things out of proportion, and his ex is accusing me of being delusional and selfish. Uh, she is also demanding that if I don't pick up her kid on our days with a kid A and kid B, that we pay for after school care. Which well, they already pay for. Well, I'd be the asshole for not picking her up. So it's already paid for for kid A and B, but not, not the step sibling. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Let me read this last part one more time. Fiance thinks I'm blowing things out of proportion and his ex is accusing me of being delusional and selfish. She is demanding that if we don't pick up her kid on our days with kid A and kid B, that we pay for after school care. Mom's made you out to be the crazy person. You through this post, it seems as though you have been very clear and, and concise about your the respect you're providing, the care you're providing, and just overall being a good stepmom. Yeah. And kid C is now wrapped into this when kid C is not your responsibility. Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't think there's an, like, I don't think they're being an asshole here. I think, I think the fiance needs to recognize which boundary lines we're stepping on here. Yeah. Fiance is probably playing the, you know, devil's advocate because Hey, less less traction or less turbulence means you know less worry. Yeah, smoother waters. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we we you know if we if we help here, maybe she'll get off our backs a little bit. But yeah. it sounds like it doesn't matter. She's going to be on your ass regardless. Yeah, I mean, if there was like if it's their days, I mean, at at the very least, offer to, for gas money to this person. Yeah, you know? but but then I demanding like, demanding that they pay for after school care if they don't, which they're already paying for it. It sounds like it. For the first two kids. Oh, for the first, for that third kid. Yeah. I see what they're saying. Okay. No, that's fucked up. Like, yeah. That's not even, 
It's not even their kids. kids. Yeah. yeah. No. No, absolutely not the asshole. Yeah, no asshole here. No. Yeah. And seems That's, like they agree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to what? Not the asshole. That's a liability you don't want. Everyone's the asshole. Where you would be driving all three of them. Where would you be driving all three of them? Answer won't change my vote. Just curious to see how BM thinks childcare will also pay into this or play into this. That's the exact train of my thought. Yeah, like if you have after school care for the first two kids, that's fine. It's not your responsibility to pay for the after school care for the third kid. It's not your kid. Not the asshole. The younger kid is not your responsibility. I would feel comfortable saying no to a neighbor. Not uh, this woman is worse. Uh, tell a fiance to pick them up. I mean, it's fair. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is. Yeah, fiance, I will carry on picking your kids, picking up your kids. However, if you keep pushing me to pick up the one that is not yours, you can arrange for someone else to pick them up. I have boundaries and I make it clear. Yeah, that's just. You know? I know you hate it. Oh, God damn it. I know you hate it, but that just means that they need to have clear communication. communication. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. But it's it's true. Like, yeah. No, that's exactly what it is. You, you, in this situation, and, and I'm not saying that you or I have ever lived through something like this, but like, mm. you have to have clear communication on something like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's that's just at the end of the day, it, it, if you are. Uh, if you are going to be with someone who already has kids, mm. that means that the factor of another parent is involved. Yeah. If you plan on being a part of those kids' lives, you need to communicate with your your spouse or partner. Yeah. Uh, you know what that looks like in y'all's eyes, and then at the end of the day, you're also got to talk about that with the other parent mm. to make sure they're comfortable with the role in which you're playing. Yeah. You know, if you're not trying to be the stepmom or the stepdad, you know, that takes over, that's great. That's perfect. Like, that, that's going to help the household immensely. Yep. But it sounds like original mom here is a raging bitch yeah. who doesn't like the fact that her old man got with another woman mm-hmm. and her kids are around that woman. Yep. So it sounds like at least. Yep. Sounds like... Uh... Got a raging bitch on there. <laughs> so, Man, honestly, you know, I, I, it's a great therapy session. Yep, there you go. Therapy session concluded. Yes. How, how do you feel, Joey? I feel cleansed. Yep. Mm-hmm. At least knowing that you're not the only one. Too. Valid. You know, Very valid. You have some resources out there. Yeah, so, I, I, yeah. Uh, I, I, it feels good knowing that people out there have to go through the same thing. It also feels really bad that people out there have to go through the same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, I am proud of OP on that one. That, that other one that I could the yep. fact that they were able to like, hey, look, here's my boundary, blocked, get out. Yep. Fantastic. So mm-hmm. let us know what your thoughts are in yep. the comments. If there's any that you saw that we got wrong, or if there's any you agree with, or if you have no comments at all, leave an emoji because engagement. An eggplant emoji specifically. That. Yep. And then also there's a button behind me. Right over there. Yep. Mm-hmm. For you to subscribe. Make sure to do so. Uh, and then click on this video right behind me as well to watch some more asshole because I assume that's what YouTube's going to force feed you. Probably. you know, and, and that's cool because I think we make good asshole videos. We do. Till the next one. Bye. Later.